Welcome to OSM, Operation Safe Mode. Peace be with you. It is in Jesus that we trust in as we continue in this safe mode of growing in the Lord. Last week we began our five-part series on the Our Father. Our first session was simply, He is our Father. Jesus gives us the opportunity to share in a relationship that is intimate, that makes us one with Him, knowing and hoping that the destination of ours will also be heaven. And the way we do that is honoring his name, making his name holy, not only in speech, but in action. This kind of desire is something beyond what we can ever imagine. We can use words like heaven to describe the place that is good. We can use heaven as the place that follows this place that fixes all the things that aren't so good. We can think of it as clouds in the sky or uh, hot dogs on trees, whatever it might be. So what is really heaven? How do we know that heaven is what we want other than the fact that we know that it is the place of the Father and where Jesus ascended and they share in their love the Holy Spirit? It brings us to our second part, the mission. Remember, mission is always about accomplishing the most important thing of our lives. If our destination is heaven, then our mission must be heaven. Jesus said that his desire in the love of the Father was to do the Father's will. What will did Jesus want to do with the Father's? Was to make him known, his love known, the place that he calls us to be our home. So the second part of the prayer is, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom is the place for which we want to serve the master. Remember, servants are different than slaves. Servants are there because they already know the joy of the one that they love. And they serve him by being a part of the glory of his recognition as God. The kingdom is where we want to go. So how do we do that? Well, Jesus says, when I go to pray away from you, my dear disciples, after I'm intimate with my Father, I say to him, help me in my human nature to do your will, to make your kingdom known to the people who are here on earth. So imagine if we were able to fulfill the mission of the Father's love here, would it not look like heaven? That's the simplicity of this part of the prayer. Remember St. Paul says, he says, I'm kind of torn between living and dying. He says, I'm not afraid to die, for if I die, then I am sharing the glory of Christ with the Father in heaven. But if it's his will that I stay here, then that too gives him glory. What Paul is trying to say is that it doesn't matter whether we're in heaven or here on earth, if the two are identical, if they are an image of what we are to become. So when we think of how to do the will of the Father, this is a part of the prayer we have to discern. What is God asking me to do? What is God in need of me to do? To further the image of heaven here on earth. It is in this section, in the mission, that the two sacraments of vocation come into play. The sacrament of matrimony. How can we make God's kingdom here on heaven, heaven here on earth? Marriage becomes the smallest of all the churches. Marriage with children is the image of what the house of God should look like. So that sacrament of matrimony calls us to become one so that the fruit of that love can be the fruit of the kingdom of God. The second is holy orders. How can I make the kingdom of God be here on earth? In the priestly way, he has the opportunity 
not only to preach the gospel, but to administer the sacraments and also be, hopefully, an image of the Father. Why you guys call me Padre? So that we can move forward in the mission of doing God's will. So each and every time that we pause at this part of the prayer, we should say, Father, how can I make your name holy as you are in heaven? Let me do your will. Your will is where you want me to be next so that I may glorify you in my actions, in my words, and in my call to follow you. Remember, God's will is not our will always, for our will is usually about our own need. But when we take on the will of God, then we take on the true mission that we are free from the things that hold us from praising His name. So remember, it is in times like these that saints are forged. So let us become saints in the vocations that God calls us to follow Him whether it be the single life as we please God in this way, marriage or priesthood, it is in these things that we follow the Lord, we trust that His will be done.